What's going on, John? This is Darius over at Auto Fair Nissan, and in front of me is our 2017 Frontier SV. I'm just gonna give you the walk around on this truck. I actually have one myself. I can vouch for these being an awesome, awesome little pickup. This is gonna be powered by a four liter V6 engine and a five speed automatic transmission. You can see here, I've got the headlights and the fog lights on, just so you can see those down in the, uh, the chrome bezel housing. You're also gonna get the chrome front grille here. This one is a four wheel drive as well. We're gonna make our way around the side. You're gonna get 16 inch alloy wheels and some nice big meaty tires on there. Great for hauling heavy loads and pretty decent off road too, if, you, if I do say so myself. This one also has the splash guards built in, the plastic style ones. We're gonna take a quick peek into the bed. This is gonna be a real big part of this. So I'm gonna show you here and we'll go around the side too. First of all, this has the Utilitrack system, part of the truck convenience group. So you have a rail here, a rail on each side right there, one back here behind me, and then the ones that are also covered by these covers right here. So five in total, great for cargo management and storage so that you can put your, uh, your bed cleats that you see right there. Those slide right in, in and out. You can put them on any of those if you need to tie anything down or restrain anything or use your handy dandy bed extender or you can get a divider for it too i did just get this one set up for you so you can see so check this out so this is going to fold right out i'm going to take this right here and this can lock into place down here yeah, man. and then that'll stay down and keep it from moving in the breeze so that'll be there for you too. It's good because this is kind of a short bed. Uh, it's a five footer. So having that bed extender that it extends this area out to about six foot, pretty handy if you ask me. I'm just gonna pull the latch underneath to release that locked piece. Now we can rotate this right back over. Close this tailgate up. All good. This also has the tow package down here. So you can see you've got your, um, your trailer connector and your hitch receiver in there. We're gonna take a quick walk around and I'm gonna show you the inside of the truck as well. Back seat here, you can see there's plenty of leg room, comfortable for adults to sit inside of it. And I did put this one seat up. You've got the uh, this 40, 60 split seats in the back for uh, folding them up and putting the seats down. So under here, you do get some storage. You get a cargo net with it so that you can keep your stuff nice and safely occupied underneath be good for keeping like a tow strap or any trailering type stuff to release it we're just going to pull on this lever and pull it right down putting it up the same way pull on the lever and pull up on it uh, i can't show you that right now just because i got a hand on the camera but you get the idea strap back here will allow you to pull this down and access your jack and jack tools uh the jack is on the other side controlled exactly the same way and it'll put the middle down as well you also do get a sliding back glass here that's the clamp for it and that slides out nice and easy Let's take a look at the front seat here. I'm gonna hop in, all your controls over here are gonna be pretty standard. I'm gonna put that window up, keep some of the wind noise out of here. Over here, you're gonna have your adjustments for your mirrors and you're gonna have your hill descent mode as well as the cargo lamp button, which will turn on the lights back here. I'm gonna show you those real quick. Up in there, those white LEDs, those are gonna shine on into the bed for you. So if you have to load or unload at night, makes it nice and easy for you. And get right inside, turn that dual zone climate down. You can see right here, one's at 60, one's at 65. That's the dual zone going for you. Awesome if you have somebody who regularly rides with you that uh, might not agree with you on the temperature. Over here on your sock, you're gonna have your headlight controls and your fog light control right there. Dash, nice and simple, easy to use. It's nice, it does have a uh, oil temperature gauge and a voltimeter and it shows you your four wheel drive status right there. So if I put this into four wheel high right now, you can see that kicks on right there and we are in. Now I take it back out, you'll see it goes back to open in the top wheels of the transfer case. Now on the steering wheel here, you're gonna have your volume controls and your phone controls right here uh, and your music with this button right there. Excuse me. And then over here is gonna be your cruise control, nice and easy. On, set, cancel. Nice and simple. Moving over to the middle here, you're gonna get this easy to use screen up here. Got your FM, AM, Sirius XM, and then your media for Bluetooth, aux, and CD, and then your iPod. Um, so you're gonna have your CD player up top, and then your plugins for the other two are gonna be down here. You also get a 12 volt cigarette lighter style outlet there. 
All right, let's see. We covered this already, so that's nice and simple to use too. Nice big rotations, super easy. Now to just show you this area down here, you're gonna get your heated seats and you're gonna get your traction control and then you're gonna get your button to disable the rear sonar. So it does have a backup camera and sonar in the back. Uh, and that button right here is gonna turn off that sonar if you're backing up. Uh, heated seats are super nice though too. They warm right up, no problem. I'll just show you the backup camera real quick. Nice and big, you get those indicator lines that help kind of gauge where you are in relation to what's behind you. And then if there is something behind you, like I said, that sonar will start going off as you get closer. Four wheel drive actuators down there as well. So you've got your two wheel high, your four high and your four low. You've got to go into neutral to use that four low and then put it right back into drive. Uh, you can do four high on the fly while you're rolling, switching it between two and four. Good for like winter time if you're driving on the highway or on back roads or anything and you decide, oh, I'm, I am gonna need that. All right, down here you're gonna have your handbrake, your cup holders. Open this up, you get some nice storage in here. It has the coin storage and a couple little slots as well as another 12 volt outlet and a nice deep little area that you can put whatever else you need to. Now you're also gonna get for your glove box here, it is dual level. So you get the top one up here, completely separate from the bottom. You can kind of separate what you need and what you don't need necessarily. And then auto dimming rear view mirror here. You can see the little green light and the power button there. So if you want to disable that auto dimming function. Sunglass holder up here. You're also going to get your light controls for the interior right, lights. Also simple to use. Uh, if there's anything that I missed on here that you had questions about, feel free to shoot us an email, give us a call 603-580-4598 or come on down. It's at 45 Portsmouth Ave in Stratum. Thanks, John.